Look at them, little babies. They already have the markings on the carapace. Pretty cool. Just a big ball of jumbled mess. See the spinnerets moving on this one right there. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna take the macro back on. I'm gonna drop the light inside there. Spook the crap out of her. There she is. It focuses on her real good without the macro, but it doesn't focus on the babies very well. But look at her. I mean, you can figure, if you look at about halfway through that mass of spiders, that's the end of her abdomen. Right about where the knee joint is of the right leg, that's roughly about the end of her abdomen. So this stuff is all, all these babies in the back here just kind of like dragging on her. It's pretty amazing actually. So tomorrow when I get up I'm going to seal those holes. Yeah, you know, those holes right there. Holes. I'm going to seal them up. Well, I kind of see those ones. Right there. Those are going to get sealed up. And I'm just going to leave the holes on the top. I don't think that the wolf spider babies are going to crawl very well anyway. And I don't want a bunch of them running around the house, so... I think they'll stay with her for roughly around 30 days. So, yep, that's the update on Mama Wolfie. Where I'm pretty sure it's Tigrosa Anexa. Not Aspersa, Anexa. I think that's what, what, what we looked at. Based on the marking pattern down the abdomen. I can't tell you how many babies are there, but there's, there's a good bit. 7,500. Some of them are crawling pretty good. Some of them, see that one there, is crawling around quite a bit. So, I'll kind of keep you guys updated as the week goes on, see how these things do, and like I said, I'll probably uh, relocate and I'm not quite sure what to do with her. I'd like to hang on to her. And, you know, some of these babies. I, mean, I think I have something I can, you know, I could put them in the Ferrero Rocher container. Just don't know when, you know, once they get off of her, then they're good to go. But I think they need to molt one more time. They'll get rid of that yellow creamish abdomen and go to their normal patterning. Once I see that, then... I'll start removing them, and then uh, we'll put a communal group of them in that Ferrero Rocher container, maybe five, ten, something like that. And we'll see what what we should do with the rest. Well, I'll probably get take the rest of them outside and release them. I'll do uh, maybe by then I'll 
I figured out how to use the GoPro because I still haven't tried it yet. And uh, well, we'll get a video of the GoPro when I release them. That might be kind of cool. Take, there's one that that one right there is pretty active. Pretty interesting. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone.